Do you like eating ungodly amounts of junk food? Are you too lazy to walk 10 minutes to obtain said junk food? Do you like to pay stupid amounts of extra money so a stranger can come and bring you the food instead? If so, you're like me! But I still have one small problem. Good evening all you wonderful people of the internet, my name is Batchy and today I'm going to tell you a story. The story of how I used the magic of engineering to make my lazy ass just a little bit lazier. This is the story of how I built a crane to lift junk food to my fourth story flat. So for those of you that didn't watch my last video, I signed up to an online engineering course by YouTube legend Mark Rober. The first project had just one condition, our build had to involve food. So of course my love of fatty, greasy takeaway instantly jumped to mind. You see, whenever I order takeaway, I have to go all the way down and then all the way back up these stairs. I'm too lazy to do that. What I needed was the most overkill, dumbest solution a person could possibly devise. Cheers mate. Thank you. So I got planning. The first step was to draw this crappy MS Paint diagram of my design, because I guess I found it funny the idea of Mark Rober having to look at this masterpiece. I then drew a rough blueprint of the build and started to get to work on the materials I would need. At this point I was only really sure of one thing, I was going to need a rope. But how long would it need to be and would it be strong enough? I began researching and found that if you could measure the angle and the distance from a building, you can use trigonometric functions to- Screw that! Who needs maths when you have capitalism? So I went on Amazon and I bought 50 meters of military grade parachute cord for like 20 quid. But for the rest of the parts it wasn't going to be so easy, mainly because I had no idea what I actually needed. So in this situation I only had one option, I had to go to- I've not got a clue what I'm doing. That's not what I wanted. I've been having to walk back, carrying all this wood. I've had some funny looks from people. I don't know if you can tell, there's a football game on today, and England are playing. <laughs> Sadly, it didn't come home. So with all the parts, I now had to try and put them together. The first part needed to be the mechanism to rotate the rope. Normally an axle would use bearings to spin, but B&Q didn't have any, so I found these mini caster wheel type things and made this square fidget spinner looking thing, but miraculously that did the job. I then attached those to some shelving brackets, added an arm with a pulley wheel and drilled some holes in an old washing up bowl I had lying around, and then the build was basically done. I finished it off by adding these two hooks so the whole thing wouldn't just fall out of my window and this one little keyring lanyard type thing to act as a kind of locking mechanism to keep the bucket from falling when not in use. And that was it, it was time for a real life test. So this is it, the final design. Uh, you will notice that the, the shelf is gone from behind me, that is because uh, I'm in the process of moving out and that has made this entire project a complete waste of time. So anyway, we're going to be testing this on an unsuspecting delivery driver. I cannot wait to see how it goes. It's probably going to collapse and like give someone a concussion and I'm going to get sued for it or go to prison or something. Oh God.
Okay, so the driver's just been. There is literally food in the bucket right now. This is really exciting. We're gonna reel it in. Okay, guys, we're gonna reel this in. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay guys, as you saw, it actually just worked. We have ourselves, let's see what's inside, let's see what's inside. I know, who am I kidding, I know what's inside. Twenty nugs, they've been on a journey. They've definitely been on a journey. Good evening all you wonderful people of the internet. Present day Spatchy here, and I'm just here to say, Thanks so, so much for watching, and uh, sorry to have kept you all waiting so long with this one. As you can see, I've actually now moved out of my flat, I've graduated from university, and uh, I've hijacked my parents' living room, uh, at least until I can find a job. If you got this far in the video though, you probably liked it, so I would super appreciate if you did all the usual YouTube-y stuff, and uh, clicked all those lovely buttons under the video. And uh, if you think someone you know may enjoy the video, then why not share it with them too? And while you're at it, you can also go down to the description and join the Discord via that link if you want to, and uh, suggest new video ideas, or maybe just chill with the community. That's all I have for now guys, so until the next one, stay hyped.